take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. You do need to pull over for a police car, marked or unmarked. Since it can be difficult to tell if the unmarked car pulling you over is legitimate, you also have the right to look out for your own safety. Police officials who drive the unmarked vehicles said that they almost never pull people over. Make your mark, take our lead. Police officers in plainclothes must identify themselves when using their police powers. However, they are not required to identify themselves on demand and may lie about their status as a police officer in some situations, see Sting Operation. Let's help you make your mark. Identifying an unmarked police car. Look for nondescript plates on the back of the vehicle. Unmarked police cars are often fitted with special municipal plates. Unlike ordinary license plates, which include a combination of letters and numbers, municipal plates typically only feature a short string of numbers. Take our lead. So, under the pretext of confidential investigative purposes, you can be pulled over by unmarked police vehicle, as interpretability of this law is very vague. In most jurisdictions, it is illegal for anyone but a police officer, or other classes of first responders, to operate lights and sirens. Make your mark, take our lead. Are police officers allowed to put sirens and lights in their own personal cars? Generally speaking, no they are only allowed to use them while conducting official business. There is good reason for this. There have been time when bad guys have used sirens and or lights to stop people to victimize them. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.